the two very different um, avenues that we utilize esports here at Samuel A. Academy. One of them is in the after school space, the actual gaming, and our kids do play after school um, Monday through Thursday, typically four days a week, and they practice games. And we have, you know, matches against other schools, no different than our basketball team goes and plays in other schools as well. It's the same thing. All right, so this is our esports room. We have our Overwatch team, which is right here. I'm gonna throw an orb in the window. They're practicing for our upcoming competition, which is uh, pretty important to them. I know that this is offered with scholarship money, so they're practicing as a team. Uh, we obviously have some League of Legends players. And then how do I upgrade? So you can buy one of, one of these bigger items. The more expensive, usually the better the item. I think I got her? Yeah. We have some people over here playing Fortnite. All right. It's always been a subset of kids that are kind of hard to reach at any high school. They don't play a sport, they're not involved in a whole lot of clubs or activities, but they love video gaming. What this after school space has allowed us to do is really to create some academic accountability. Guys, just let me know if you guys need me to ult. So the after school space has been great. They're learning how to stream, they're learning how to build websites and, and shoutcast and stuff like that. And I've already asked at least 50 people. Dude, we just need budget right now. Dominic already told me we have a sustainability. Are we trying to get these kids to be professional gamers? Professional gamers, they're doing it 12, 14, 16 hours a day. And in my opinion, that's not really healthy, right? And in the NFL, less than 1% of the employees in the NFL are the actual players. So what's the other 99%, right? Whether you're in market, and you're in HR, you're in hospitality. So no different than esports. So we're trying here through our after school class and in the English classes to get these kids to find what they're passionate about and expose them to different careers. <laughs> Whatever it is, but we all need that outlet, that thing that we're passionate about. And they're going to do it anyway. Might as well make it a healthy situation. Here, pop boys, let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Yeah, sure. Esports is very close, and video games in general are very close to our hearts, and we like to play video games a lot. So I think it's a growing space. It's a great medium to share your talents. Yeah, this is our esports club. It's pretty cool.